Hiya, welcome back to my channel, Makeup and Metaphors, where we read books and serve looks and have adorable ragdoll cats named Peanut. Hello. Uh, today's video, we are going to completely overhaul slash redo glow up my hair. Now, I had a kind of idea in my head for what I wanted to do. I had a hairstyle a few years ago in university where my hair was a very, very dark kind of black brown. I had a kind of Betty Page fringe bangs and half of it was white. I'll just put a picture up. I didn't describe that very well. But now I want something similar, but maybe a little bit elevated. So I put the following collage together of um, around five, six images. I put it up on Facebook. And I asked all my mates to vote <laughs> because I just couldn't make the decision myself. And plus it added a little bit of element of fun as well. So in this video, I'm, I'm hoping to dye the sections of my hair that need to be dyed, bleach the sections of my hair that need to be bleached, tone them so that they're basically white. Basically, it could be a massive success with many, many steps, or it could be a complete disaster. But we're in lockdown 3.0. I'm getting bored. It's been literally months and months and months since I've done my hair. All of this here is root. This here is literally just my own hair colour at this point. So it's been nice that I've given it a break and that it's kind of back to my own hair colour now, but it's time to destroy it again for my own and for your viewing pleasure. And I've got my dye here. I've got my um, combs. I've got bleach, but I'm actually going to not use my old bleach. I'm gonna wait a few days so that my hair gets a little bit greasy because you um, shouldn't put bleach into freshly washed hair and I washed my hair yesterday. So I'm gonna just separate out the bits today, dye them the black brown. I've ordered some special bleach from Bleach London, which hopefully will be less damaging to my hair as well as a, like a white toner that will hopefully reduce any of the brassiness yellow tones. Right, step one I suppose is gonna be separating out what I don't want dyed dark brown. As you can see from the pictures, they're all kind of similar, like bits of whitey blonde through um, like a very, I think it's mostly black in the picture, but I'm going with obviously, like I've said, that dark black brown. To section out the bits I don't want dyed dark, I'm gonna maybe put them in little plaits and keep them down the side, and then I'm gonna work on the back of my head. So let's get sectioning. So I'm gonna basically do a mixture, I think, of number one and number two. Yeah, I, I'm trying to go from the images from my head. So number one has the white fringe with the bits down the side, whereas number two has got more kind of white bits underneath and a few little random bits like that. So the first things first is I'm going to have to get those bits from the front um, away. So I'm going to just pop my hair in pigtails and work on one side at a time. So I need the front bit for my fringe and then I want bits down the side and I also want it to go all the way around my ear and down the back. So that when I tie my hair up, it'll basically look like it's blonde and when I have it down, dark. Right, so I'm just going to make sure that all of this is kind of smooth, that it's a smooth line down. So I'm going to just put it together so that I can't really have any hair in my way. And then these bits at the back. Uh, I do think that that is this side pretty much done. So I'm going to pop this into a tight plait. Right, I've plaited the first section and the back section and then I've just tied them together. I'm feeling very Post Malone-esque right now. Okay, so I'm going to put the remaining of my hair into pigtails and do it a half at a time just so that I can get kind of all over on one side and then all over on the other side and I suppose the most important factor behind all of this is going to be not touching these plaits so making sure that nothing is um, touched on that so I think that's going to be the largest challenge for sure then I'm going to divide this up into layers like maybe because I have a lot of hair a lot a lot a lot of hair so I'm going to make sure that these are kind of pulled as far back or away from it as physically possible. I'll see if I can find myself a um, crocodile clip and then I'm going to pop these into different sections and I'm going to start. Because I'm extra I had this pure glitter clip so I've put everything as far away from this section as possible. I put down some cardboard underneath where I'm working. I've got an extra towel here as well in case I notice that there's anywhere dye is falling or dye is about to fall. So in this box we have got the instructions. 
we've got the color cream, we've got the uh, color activator, and I'm pretty sure this is just gloves and conditioner. So I'm guessing we just pop color bottle one into bottle two and shake, just every other one I've done in my life. But I'm going to dye this little bit here, and then I'm gonna come back maybe two or three times just to update you as I go through it, because I'm not gonna film for the whole hour. next layer so I'm going to keep on going at this each time I'm just going to let my hair down I'm going to make sure I keep it away from the, this section here make sure that when I section it as well that I don't go too near where those plots are so that I don't accidentally touch the hair with uh, gloves that have hair dye on them so that's a bit too much just because I need to make sure that I'm getting all of my hair <laughs> First side completed. I think I've stayed away from this hair pretty good, apart from my hit a tiny bit there. So I might have to change up a little bit at the end. I might have to leave a little bit of dye to see if any um, strand is kind of patchy. I've got a little bit of dye on my head as well. Oops. So I'm going to start on my other side. So I'm just going to get sectioning it off, and then hopefully this won't take too long. Right, so I've just finished both sides. I'm now gonna put the hair down. I'm gonna kind of comb all the dye through it, see if anywhere feels drier or anything like that. And then I'll just pop it on a bun, a loose bun, so that um, there isn't kind of banding left by the hair ties. So you can see this side is much darker than that side now. Right, so I'm gonna use this here to make sure that I've get, gotten right and in and that there's good separation. I'm gonna pop some of the, um, on the brush and then I'm just going to make sure that I get right in there we'll see I've got to wait 25 minutes and I'll wash it out and dry it and then I'll show you the result Ta -da! so this is after one week so I washed the dark brown out it's got a lovely shine on it nice and soft and then all the bits that I left out that are going to be bleached are just underneath here. So I will do this tomorrow once, because um, I washed my hair yesterday and you should never bleach newly washed hair. You need to have the oils on your scalp there to protect it. So I'll see you tomorrow for the bleach. Okay, I've put on a pyjama top that I don't necessarily care too much about, Harry Potter one. And I've just emptied out the bleach. Let's see what's in here. So we've got developing lotion. We've got bleaching powder, we've got bleaching powder, we've got a mask and we have got some gloves. Right, I've never actually used this bleach before. I'm guessing we put the developer with the bleach and pop it in, but I'll just read the instructions anyway. It says not to use it on hair that has been dyed or bleached, but I've watched lots of videos of people doing that, so I'm uh, gonna go ahead with it. Okay, got it and got the brush, got some bobbins, hair ties, scrunchies, whatever you want to call them. Cut the corner of the bleaching powder sachets, carefully pour the contents into a non-metallic bowl. Two sachets of bleaching powder are required to form the mixture. Next, add the contents of the bottle of developing lotion. Stir the developing lotion and bleach powder together. Use a tint brush. Keep stirring until the mixture is a cream smooth consistency. Apply immediately after do not wait more than two to three minutes before use. Right, well I better start sectioning out my hair then before I mix them together. What's that blue thing in the background? Oh, that's the tin foil. <laughs> We're gonna need that. So I've actually kind of grown to like this look on its own. 
But we can always go back to this if I like the, the grey with the black because we need to do the roots anyway. So I'm just going to do one side at a time, nice and slowly, try and get any of the hairs like not mixed up so that um, it can be a nice kind of neat clean job. Right, I'm just going to use the end of the um, tint you Okay, so... Okay, that looks like all of the black in that section. I'm just gonna comb through it, brush through it a few times and really look to make sure there's no dark. Okay, so I can see this one strand here. I'm being quite meticulous about this, I know, but I really want it to be perfect. The hair has been divided. I've put the dark hair up in like space buns and then I've made the divides. They're not perfect because obviously I'm not a hairdresser and I didn't do it perfect when I did it with the dark. So it means that like, you can now see where some of the darkness kind of gently touched some of my roots. So on them parts, I'm just, well, apart from here, I'm not, I'm gonna have to go over that little bit there where obviously a piece of dye touched it. Um, but it's not going to be perfect. I'm just looking for good. <laughs> so let's get to mixing the bleach. I didn't mix the bleach first because it literally said to make sure you start putting it on immediately. This is it here, it looks like mine. That's kind of the mid to ends done. I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna do the roots and put the foils on. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just casually weeping continuously from this eye, from the fumes. But um, I forgot to begin recording this bit. Now I'm just going and doing the um, finicky bits, as I call it. I'm gonna go up as far as I can and then I'm gonna use my little finger for the rest. And just blend the two together. getting lots of bleach on my face, also do not recommend. So I'm just gonna take off the gloves, clean off these bits. Head, that shouldn't be. Need most of that. Just gonna wipe off some of the bleach that I've got on my hands and face, and I will come back to you when it is washed out and ready to be dried. I'm definitely aware that this is a look and a half. The bleach seems to have taken quite well. It's quite even throughout. Some bits of black fell down while I was um rinsing it, but that's fine. I left everything else up here. Or so I keep seeing black, some bits of dark brown fell out while I was um, rinsing. That doesn't matter. All we're gonna do now is tone it. It's been towel dry. I just maybe dry the ends off a little bit more as well. It doesn't feel that damaged. I think this bleach might be magic, to be honest. So I'm gonna set up the toner and um, pop that in, rinse, dry, back. Squeeze the tube in here, fine.
Hi. What do we think of the new hair? I must admit, I love it. This is the most I've loved my hair in years. The bits underneath came out great. The bits at the front are lovely. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit more work than what I've recorded. And that is um, because I had to use a different toner in order to bring up this white. This is basically pure white, which I'm stunned, gagged, gooped with. Um, I used the T18 toner. I know if you ever watch Brad Mondo, he was always complaining about people using it, but my hair was a really kind of light yellowish color. And then I used um, the T18. I'll see if I, I've got another pack. So I use this T18 toner, it comes in a little bottle and then whatever you use of it, you just need to use double of developer. So I used my normal 20 volume developer with it just and just brushed it on to wherever the blonde was and only left it for about 15, 20 minutes and it turned white and washed it out. I've washed it a few times since I've done it. None of the dark has gone into the white and I'm just really happy with it. And when I tie it up, it kind of looks like I have blonde hair. And when I have it down, it looks like I have dark hair. So I've also got my extensions. I um, bought dark extensions from Lullabelle's, uh, which is actually synthetic hair, but then I bought blonde real hair extensions to put at the front. So I'm gonna pop them in and be right back. Okay, this is it with the extensions in. So I've got the Lullabelle's extensions. So they're synthetic, but I've brushed them and run some dry shampoo through them so that they look more real. And then I've got the um, bleached and toned extensions to go in the front bit as well. And I'll probably do a few more bits just because my own um, blonde hair colour seems to be coming out a little bit in them. I think it looks pretty nice, to be honest. But overall, I think it's a chic hairstyle. I definitely saved a lot of money by doing it myself. I wouldn't recommend doing it at home unless you are very comfortable doing complicated things with your hair. But yeah, I must admit I'm delighted with it. And I'm sure I'll see you all in my next hair project slash fiasco. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It makes me feel as though people are actually watching these crazy videos that I'm doing with my hair. Also, don't forget that I do make GCSE revision study videos for those of you who are in lockdown and maybe struggling with studying. And uh, you can catch me over on Instagram and makeup underscore and underscore metaphors. You can also catch me on TikTok on makeup and metaphors as well. Thanks for joining me today. I am super proud of what I've done. I hope you like it too. Drop me a comment on what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.